Hi folks! Today I'm going to show you how to survey a rooftop and lay out a system in just a few minutes using Surveyor. From the dashboard, enter the address at the top or search through the Surveyor tab. Enter the address and press search. Adjust the crop area, then make sure that is the area you want to survey. Now the system is loading an aerial image of the property and shade values at 3 square inch resolution. The solar access heat map shows the annual solar access values represented by each color. Red is 100 and blue is 0. The animated heat map cycles from January through December at a 1 square foot resolution. From here we select our optimal facet for install and outline by clicking on the corners of the facet. Then adjust the azimuth if necessary by clicking and dragging the arrow. Once the polygon is closed, Roofline distances are calculated to the nearest foot, slope adjusted, and on the right hand side you see slope, area, and azimuth for the facet polygon. Outline another facet or click next. Use the buttons at the top to show or hide measurements or facets. To lay an array, click panels. Select the panel type, select the facet, and add panels. Click and drag to move the panel grid. The blue panels are pre-selected. Click on those to unselect them, or click on a blank square to select an additional panel. Click Complete or Off the Grid to lay the panels. To alter the array, click on a panel to select. Hold down Shift to select more panels, or hold Shift and drag to select a group of panels. Then drag to move or right-click to find the tools in the menu bar up top. View the house in 3D with the proposed array. Click and drag to change the angle and zoom in to view the roof in more detail. The shade readings for the array are under the appropriate facet. Click to view the average monthly shade values. Each panel takes into account about 150 shade readings, so each ray incorporates thousands. To take individual shade readings, use the Shade ID tool. The number changing above is the annual solar access for that exact point. Simply click to take a reading. Right click to move or delete. These shade readings will also appear under the drop down menu, both individually and average by roof facet. Use the distance tool to measure. Click on two points and select whether you would like the me measurement to be slope adjusted or to be an absolute measurement by selecting no slope. Height measures the different difference in elevation between any two points. To measure the ridge line, for example, click on the ridge and then on the driveway or patio. Use PDF to create a report of the survey and layout. Use CSV to export shade values into other software programs. And use picture at any time to capture an image of whatever is showing on the screen. When you're done, click Save. You can find any saved project on the dashboard. Go to Settings to input panel options. Input the make, model, and measurements of the panel. Then those panels will appear in the drop-down menu within the software. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.